For this project, we're going to start with our paper in portrait. Now, if you would like to have more stuff going on in the background, you're free to turn it to landscape as well. Either way will work for this. I would like the fox that I'm drawing to be more in the forefront and a little bit larger, so I'm going to work in portrait. But again, that's your decision. I've also got some things for color here. Once again, that's up to you what you choose to use, whatever you would like. We're going to start in the middle of our paper, and I'm going to draw an ellipse shape. That's like that football shape we use a whole lot when we're drawing things. So kind of a stretched out rainbow and mirror that right underneath to create that ellipse. Now the fun thing about this project is this can really be turned into any kind of animal that you would like. I could add a cute little nose there and some little eyes closed to kind of make it look like a little sloth with those closed eyes. Or I could open the eyes up a little bit, make the ears a little bit larger. And that would give me something cute like a chipmunk or a squirrel. So again, it's, it's really fun. You can just change small things about this to get different creatures. But I'm gonna make a little fox for today because I wanna use some bright orange and some foxes are orange. So again, I'm gonna begin with that shape. Take all the stuff off that I just need. Clear it up with my eraser. And I'm gonna come from one side to the next. I'm gonna start with a line that dips down and comes back up to the other side. Whoops, and don't forget a little circle at the bottom for your nose. So down and then back up. Kind of like a really stretched out letter V. And then two circles for my eyes. Again, working with pencil first. And I'll color those in in a second, but I'm gonna erase the lines in between. And a little tiny mouth. And now for the ears, it's just a similar elliptical shape. So very similar to the head, except it's half of that shape. So come up with a curve and down. And then make that shape again, but smaller on the inside. And then you finished the head. So now we need to make sure we have something for it to be standing on. So it's not just floating around in space. So come down to what, you know, however tall you want it to be, kind of gauge that body and draw a line. This will be the ground that it's resting on. It could be a straight line or it could be slightly curvy. It's up to you. And then starting on one side of your head, you're just gonna draw a nice curved line down to that line you just created. And then do the same thing on the other side, all the way down. And we've almost finished our fox. I'm gonna add some vertical lines for my legs. One, two, three vertical lines that are parallel to each other. And let's add a big swooshy tail up and down like a curvy triangle and that a little white dip to the tail. But again, this doesn't have to be a red fox. It could be a white fox or a brown fox. There's lots of different kinds. So we're going to work on the sweater next. I wore my fancy sweater for this project. See this area right here where the knitting is slightly different? That's called the cuff. And a lot of times with knitted sweaters, you have um, a difference in the way it's made around the neck and the wrist. So we're going to add a collar and a cuff to make this look more like an actual sweater. So I'm going to draw a curved line underneath the face and then just add some vertical lines to it, kind of like we saw on my sweater, to have that kind of knitted look. Maybe go look at some sweaters you have in your closet. And we're going to do the same thing on the legs, except 
right down towards the bottom. I'm gonna come out a little bit, sort of like a small curve to make it look like the sleeves are bunched up a little bit, like he's rolled them up. Coming across with a horizontal line and then another slightly curved line out. Cross another horizontal and then add some of those vertical lines again. So again, I was making it look kind of like the sleeves were rolled up a little bit. And there you have it. There's your fox in a sweater. Now you get to decorate and add a background. I am going to add some mountains, but you don't have to. You could be somewhere else. Maybe your fox went to the beach. Remember, you're adding pattern to your sweater, and that is anything that repeats. It could be a rainbow pattern. It could be a polka dot pattern. If you wanna go over your lines with a black pen or marker, go for it. I'm gonna try this pen. It seems like it's a little thin, so I'm probably gonna switch over to a thin tip marker. Going over your lines after you have really cleaned everything up will make it stand out a little bit more. But again, whatever you choose to use for color is absolutely fine. Whatever patterns you decide to add for your sweater is fine too. Be creative, have fun, and as always, can't wait to see what you make.